News slash Islamabad Prime Minister Imran Khan and U.S. Senator Bernie Sanders have raised the plight of Kashmiris, who have been living under a lockdown for four weeks in Indian-administered Kashmir, while separately addressing the 56th Convention of Islamic Society of North America ISNA. Speaking at the event, Sanders A Democratic presidential hopeful for the U.S. presidential elections 2020 termed India's move to annex Kashmir as unacceptable. I'm also deeply concerned about the situation in Kashmir where the Indian government has revoked Kashmiri autonomy, cracked down on dissent and instituted a communications blackout, he said. The crackdown in the name of security is also denying the Kashmiri people access to medical care. Even many respected doctors in India have acknowledged that the Indian government imposed restrictions on travel or threatening the life-saving care that patients need, Sanders said. The communications blockade must be lifted immediately, and the United States government must speak out boldly in support of international humanitarian law and in support of a UN-backed peaceful resolution that respects the will of the Kashmiri people, the senator stated. Prime Minister Khan, in his address made via video link, spoke about the need to understand the Hindu nationalist Rashtriya Swayamsevak Sang RSS, party, said to be a parent organization of the ruling Bharatiya Janata Party BJP. I am trying my best but from the ISNIS platform, you have to make the concerted effort to make people understand this phenomenon which has taken over India. You have to make the Western societies understand the RSS, he said. Khan added that the RSS believes in the racial supremacy of the Hindu civilization and the ethnic cleansing of Muslims from India, and urged people to research and find out about its origins. After the recently won elections by the BJP, they have come back as a stronger force. We are talking about a country of more than 1 billion people with nuclear weapons, taken over by an extreme ideology. What the Nazi party proved was that a small, highly organized, ideologically motivated group could actually take over a country. That is what has happened in India. An extreme ideology has taken over India, the Prime Minister said. The BJP government wants to change the demography, change a Muslim-majority province into a Muslim-minority province by bringing in out-settlers to come in and change the demography. This is a violation of the 4th Geneva Convention Article 49. You cannot change the demography of an occupied land, Khan said. We believe what is happening in Kashmir is that the RSS goons have been let loose amongst the population, the Premier said, urging the ISNA to raise awareness about what was happening in Indian-administered Kashmir. I am afraid that this ideology is not going to stop here, they have let out a genie out of a bottle, Khan warned. It is not going to go back in, this genie of hatred, of Hindu supremacy. It's not just Muslims who are going to be a threat. We fear in Pakistan that we are not dealing with a rational government in India. He added, we believe that the sort of oppression they will do in Kashmir and are already doing, they will need to divert the world's attention to Pakistan and we believe, as they did in February, they will take some sort of an action, an attack in Pakistan. Meanwhile, the Organization of Islamic Cooperation OIC, has called for immediate lifting of curfew restoration of communication and respect for fundamental rights of people in Indian-administered Kashmir. In a statement published in media yesterday, the OIC has reaffirmed the internationally recognized status of the Jammu and Kashmir dispute. The organization recognized the centrality of the issue of Jammu and Kashmir dispute between Pakistan and India, and the need for seeking its durable and just solution according to the UN Security Council resolutions. The OIC General Secretariat stressed the need for resumption of dialogue process between Pakistan and India, which is a prerequisite for development, peace and stability in South Asia. Let's block ads. Why? Oh, 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 oh,